Hey guys. So, yeah, um, as I've already said in, uh, yesterday's video, uh, thrift store haul or doll room tour or whatever you want to call it because it's both of those things in one, uh, yeah, I don't really have a lot of ideas right now for, like, videos and stuff, yeah, but, I don't know, um, yeah, um, so it's almost Easter, so I decided, yeah, why not, let's do some Easter crafts, because, well, why not? So, yeah, uh, we have, uh, Lucas here to help me, because I'm gonna need, like, a doll for, like, size reference for this first craft, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, and by the way, he's wearing a shirt from, uh, yesterday's video. It's, yeah, it's a little big on him, but I think it's okay, like... It's, uh, it's, uh, size one, so that's a little big. He has, like, what, maybe about four months size? I, I don't know. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, about four months, I'd say. Mm? Yeah, well, anyway. Mm. So, you're gonna need pipe cleaners for this first craft. So, yeah, I'm gonna use this red one. So, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a little short, but I think it's gonna work. Um... Or not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah, so we're just gonna bend it, like, like this. Like a little headband thing. Yeah. Doesn't look great, but, yeah. And let's see. Uh... Yeah, that'll be okay. And, uh... Then we're gonna... You're gonna need about three pipe cleaners, depending on how big ears you're gonna be you're making, because we're making, like, little bunny ears, because, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Like a little Easter bunny. <laughs> yeah, and because it's just pipe cleaners, it's pretty easy to just make it in size for any dolls. Well, okay, maybe not a Barbie doll. That would be a lot of cutting, or it would be, or it would look really weird, but, yeah. Most dolls should fit this, so yeah, okay. So we're gonna put this on just where we want the ears. Uh, yeah, I think we want one ear about here. So then we're just gonna attach that, um, like this. Just twisting this thing down because then it's gonna stay in place pretty good, so. Yeah, and, uh, just do the same thing with the other one, but this time twisting inside the actual ear, and, uh, yeah, there. And then put it back on, because, again, we kind of want to see where about we want the ears, so here, probably. And when we're putting on the second ear, we kind of want to see that they're about the same length, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, again, we're just gonna, like, you know, twist it like this. Uh, this first one is going through the ear here, because I'm doing it that way. And then, about, yeah, about here. Yeah, uh, there we go. Um... We want this one going down. And yeah, there we go. So here we have little bunny ears for Lucas. Uh, yeah, the, the proportions might be a little weird, but I think they, I think I could pretty easily put this on Chase with Jessica as well. Uh, yeah, the ears would be, like, here, probably, if I put it on, uh, Ella, but Chase and Jessica should be able to wear this. I mean, the ears might look a little big and stuff, but it should work. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're done with these, and now we're gonna make a, uh, Easter basket, uh, so yeah, we're gonna need two square pieces of paper and, uh, scissors because you're gonna be doing a lot of cutting, uh, what else will we need? Um, 
just a random square object. I'm using a milk garden because why not? Uh, oh yeah, and uh, probably a pencil as well. So yeah, you can take the one of the papers. Uh, I'm gonna do the dark blue because you know it's gonna be the bottom of the basket, and then yeah, uh, let's see. There, and then you're gonna place the milk carton in the middle of the paper. Actually, this is a little big. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, this is kind of big. Um... Yeah, I'll go see if I can find, like, a smaller square thing. Because, uh, yeah, that's a little big. I'll see if I can find something else. So, yeah, okay. I found this little box. Um, I think this should do, like, here. Here's the milk garden, which, yeah, it's kind of cut. I think I was making dollhouse, or... Yeah, well, anyway. Yeah, so the bottom of the milk garden is... You compare these two. Yeah, this is a lot smaller, so I think this is gonna work. And then again, you want to place it, like, actually, let's do it this way. Um, about in the middle of the paper... And then just draw a square around it. So like, yeah, like this, and then just kind of, yeah, fix the edges a bit so that, you know, it's actually a square, and that looks really weird. Okay, uh... There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, actually, let's use this ruler. Uh, yeah, so then you're gonna wanna just, um, actually, let's just do it over the whole thing. Yeah, let's do it like this. So, yeah, um, just lines, draw like lines, like, there we go, and, uh, yeah. Um, I'll be, like, how, yeah, uh, obviously, like, how big, like, the spaces between the lines should be depends on, like, how big you want the uh, square things that are gonna be on the basket to do. So then when you got it like this, it's kind of hard to see because, you know, I'm drawing on dark paper, but, yeah, when you got that basic shape, you're just gonna take a ruler and, uh, line it up with the edge here. And, yeah, just draw lines. So that's, yeah, they're not. Okay, there we go. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, you want... Like, well, I'm doing, like, five, uh, things for one, yeah, that's, for, like, one, uh, side, but however many you want, that's kind of your choice. So then, when you've got the lines, you're just gonna cut it, so, like, you're gonna cut on the lines, and you don't want to cut through the middle, because that square is gonna be the bottom of the basket, so... You don't want to cut that, and then you can have some squares left over on the side. Uh, yeah, you don't want to cut those. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, but, yeah, uh, you're just gonna cut, um, all the, and, uh, yeah, um, yeah, these, you don't want, 
you don't want to, these squares that you're going to have, like, in the corners, or on the sides, whatever, uh, yeah, you don't want to cut the, like, lines in them, because there shouldn't be any lines in those squares, because those squares should just be kind of extra. So, yeah, um, yeah, so you just cut those off, and as I said, you don't want to cut through the middle, because, like, yeah, the middle is the bottom of the basket, and, well, yeah. Just kind of cut all the lines, and, uh, yeah, um, there we go. That looks good. Uh, yeah. So, now I'm just gonna take the ruler and, like, kind of fold these up, since they're gonna have to be folded up, uh, on, well, when we, like, do the actual basket, because, oh yeah, they kind of have to be folded up. And, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, right now I'm kind of folding one piece at a time, but I could have also just folded before I cut these strips, and that would have been easier, but, uh, yeah, I didn't think of that. So, yeah, um, yeah, and, uh, so this is what it looks like now, which obviously this isn't very basket-like, so that's why you need this. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna wanna, like, well, you might need the roller because you want the lines to be straight, but, yeah, you're just gonna, like, uh, make, like, lines there. I don't know how many you need, but, yeah, make a few. Um, yeah, uh, I'll make this and I'll get back to you guys later. So, yeah, I don't know if this is enough, but I made a few lines here, so now I'm just gonna, like, cut these, and, uh, yeah. Which is really easy, I mean, you're just, yeah, you're just cutting paper, so I don't really need to explain how to do that. Or, <laughs> at least I hope I don't have to explain that, because if you don't know how to use um, something as simple as scissors and cut a paper, yeah, ah, uh, mmm, yeah. No, I don't know, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, hmm, yeah, I really don't think you should even be trying to make, like, doll crafts, because, uh, well, how are you supposed to make, like, a doll craft if you don't even know how to use a pair of scissors? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, I mean, to make this, there's quite a bit of explanations there, because, well, yeah, you have the bottom and stuff, but, yeah. I really don't think I should have to explain how to cut pieces of paper, so. Yeah, I don't think this is enough, but, yeah. Um, here's some paper. Uh, yeah, we'll start with this. Oh, yeah, and, uh, I'll need some tape or something, so I'll go get that. Okay, so, yeah, I'm back with the tape, and, well, you're gonna need scissors again, because, yeah. Uh, it's kind of obvious you need scissors. Well, I guess you don't need the scissors. If you have, like, a tape dispenser with, like, a thing where you, like, cut off the tape, you won't, like, necessarily need the scissors, but, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, you're gonna start with a piece of tape and, uh, one of these strips. So, you're gonna put the piece of tape here, and then you're gonna put it, like, let's say, here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um... So yeah, uh, when you, like, okay, actually, let's put it a little more, like, um, yeah, let's put it, so we put the piece in front here, and then we put, yeah, we'll, like, tape it onto the back of this piece here, so yeah, and then we'll cut off the extra tape, that's pretty obvious. And then, yeah, just fold this in, uh, yeah. 
put it behind the next one uh, in front um behind uh, in front of and behind there and then just fold over and uh, put it in front of and behind and in front of and behind and yeah it's pretty easy it's not so hard really and uh, then just put it behind the next one and okay this is a big mess um yeah just yeah okay uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll stick this here, yeah. Um, no, actually, wait, uh, I want to fold it. Okay, this is just a big mess. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing here, but, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll take that in. Uh, I need to take, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, this is just chaos. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I do, but yeah. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no. I really don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, there we go. That looks better. Kinda. Yeah, there. It'll look better once we have, like, several layers on, because... Yeah. This is what it should look like with, like, several layers, but this is what it looks like. So, yeah, um, yeah, you just keep going like this. Pretty simple. So, I'll finish that, and then I'll show you what it looks like, because, yeah, this is gonna be a really long video if I show you the whole process. So, yeah, uh, I'll finish that, and I'll get back to you. Yeah, okay, guys. So, I have two layers of this stuff done. Uh, I need to add another layer, probably. I don't think I can do much more than one more layer. But, yeah. I probably should add another layer. I'm gonna do that, but, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I'm kind of tempted to just say, nope, I'm done with this, and forget about the whole project, but, I don't know. I want to do this, but then again, I don't really want to, you know, have to make like, wait, uh, like a ton of these. Uh, because, you know, the thing is, if I make one, I should probably make one for like every single one of my dolls, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I think you understand the whole point of how to make this, and yeah, it's a lot of work. I'll tell you that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah. I guess that's it for this video. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Bye.